There's something you'll see every day. The pool is covered with a dance floor for a party. It's pretty unique. Okay, so the party's over. They're gonna come today and remove the dance floor. I'm gonna come back in a couple days and I'm gonna go ahead and I treat the pool for the metal. One problem this pose is you can see all the metal is actually in the pool. Almost like a dock side kind of thing. And that's a lot of the metal definitely has fled off into the water. You know, this pool obviously has metal contamination. You can see all the rust on the bottom from the dance floor once they removed it. That's all the rust coming off the pipes into the water. And there's a few ways to check for metal. You can actually have someone kind of check the water. You can take it in and get tested. You can also get some copper test strips. These are by AquaCheck. And I'll show you the Taylor test kit, a way to indicate uh, metal in your pool. And since there was a dance floor in here, I'm sure that there's going to be metal um, reading in here. So this test strip is indicating that there's one parts per million of copper in this particular pool. And one of the side effects with metal ions in the water is that when you're doing the calcium hardness test, there'll be a fading endpoint, which means instead of the reagent turning a blue color, it's going to actually turn a purple color. And that's due to the metal ions interfering with the test. It's a really effective way to actually check for metal. Well, I'll show you right now. I'm going to go ahead and add the drops and I'll show you the results. Add R12 and count the drops to get the calcium hardness reading. And at the end, I'll see the color change and I'll show you purple tint. It's supposed to turn blue if once it reaches the end of the calcium hardness test. But if there's metal present in the pool, it'll throw off the reading and you'll get a purple, uh, dark purple color to the indicator versus a blue color. So there's definitely metal present in this pool. Again, the AquaCheck test showed the presence of it. Here's another pool down the street. I'm going to go ahead and do the copper test and the Taylor um, calcium hardness test, you can see the difference in the readings. And you can see this pool doesn't have any um, metal copper in it. You can see that the indicator is actually a blue color here. So this one doesn't have any metal. So that's a good way to tell if the pool has any metal um, ions in it. Here are a couple of the metal sequestering agents that I use. I pretty much exclusively use the Hasa Super Stain Out. It's got a patented formula. It does have the three different acids in there, and it has the acid in there that draws out the metal ions. And it also removes organic staining in the pool. So if you're confused if the stain is metal or organic, the Super Stain Out will remove the organic stain. Jack Magic, the blue stuff, is really good also for metal removal. They also make a pink stuff for a copper. You also want to make sure that you add the right amount of acid to keep your pH low. They work best when the pH is at 7.2 to 7.6. When the pH is really high, the sequestering agent doesn't work as well in your pool. So you want to lower the pH down with muriatic acid. But I'm just going to pour this one around the perimeter. So to uh, eliminate the metal ions completely from your water, you can use the Sealator product which actually traps the metal ions and actually removes them from your pool, whereas the sequestering agent will just kind of set them apart, unbind them so that they don't stain the pool, but again when it wears off, the metal ions will return to the pool water. Okay, so when you do add the sequestering agent to your pool, you also want to use the Simulator product to draw the metal ions to, the, to it and attract them. So they work together in conjunction. You're going to use the metal sequestering agent and you're going to also put the Simulator in your skimmer depending on the 1.0 or in the pump. So it has a bag with a polymer in it and it draws the metal ions in here. 
and traps them and that's how you get the metal actually out of your pool. So the See You Later 4.0 is the one I'm going to use in this particular account since it shows such a high level of metal. And the 4.0 goes directly into the pump basket, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in right now. And they also have a 1.0 that you can add to the skimmer. You can also get a gator egg to put it in so that you don't throw it away on accident. Here's a color chart for the metal that you'll see the bag turn. It'll turn a really light color. Um, one of these colors, if you have metal present, the only one that won't change color is the manganese, if you have that in your water. But the copper will be a light blue, and then you see the color chart for the other metals accordingly. And again, it may not change color at all, or you may see it. The good way to know if it's working is to test the water to see if the metal is actually being pulled out of it. Because I'm going to drop it in the pump basket and let it stay in there and test the water in a few days. So right now, today is Monday, I'm going to go ahead and uh, retest the water here on Thursday. So I'm back here four days later and I pulled the sea later out of the pump basket. I'm going to see if it has any color change in the bag itself. And you can see that the, it does have a blue tint, um, same as the picture here for the copper. Here's one that I haven't put in. You can see that this bag is more white. You can see the blue tint along the edges here of this one. So it's definitely changing color after four days, so it is actually drawing the copper out. I'm going to go ahead and test the water again to see if it is actually pulling out the metal ions out of this pool. I'm going to go ahead and do the calcium hardness. And after four days in the pump, you can see that the reagent actually turned a blue color. So it actually has cured this pool of the copper. I'm going to check it with the aqua strip right now copper test with this test strip here and it looks like it's showing that the copper level is near zero it looks like it's right about zero or 0 0.02 it's definitely not over here in the five or the one range so used in conjunction with a sequestering agent to pull the metal out of the pool the simulator does trap the metal ions and it does eliminate the metal from the water as you can tell by the test that I ran here with the Taylor kit and with the copper test strip, the most of the copper in this particular pool that had the dance floor is pretty much gone. And again, you have to know the limitation of the Super Stain Out and the Simulator product. It won't remove stains like this here on the bottom of a plaster pool that have been there for a while. You can try the dry acid trick that I show in one of my videos or you can actually have your pool drained and acid washed to get rid of the metal stains. Here's a pool with some metal staining. You can see it coming out of the return line. There's some metal stains that got in here. This definitely will not come off with any kind of sequestering agents or the see you later. It definitely has to be done through an acid wash only to get rid of these kind of metal stains in the pool. And another source of metal entering your pool could be from an old heater and especially old copper piping. And depending on your area, if you have well water, sometimes your fill water has metal in it also. So you definitely want to use the see you later to draw the metal ions out of the water. And you want to use the sequestering agent also to prevent any kind of metal staining.